right, uh, what's up guys? So, tidying up here after a night of imaging. Um, started out with the uh, Andromeda Galaxy. I uh, haven't done that in years, like two years ago or something. Last time I had this uh, telescope on. Um, uh, well, <clears throat> from last time I said that, like, well, it's too late in the season to do anything. All the winter targets, low in the sky and all. So, despite that knowledge, I went for the Andromeda Galaxy. And so I don't have any high expectations, but we'll see. Uh, after that, I had a stab at the Flaming uh, Star Nebula. Yeah, uh, looked like a nice target um, for a few hours, well, two roughly. And so I went out <coughs> after that and uh, uh, slew to my main target, which was the uh, Heart Nebula, to work on that heart and soul thing. Yeah, uh, and uh, uh, when doing that, I refocused. And I saw that I was slightly out of focus. Yes, so I don't know how much that was out of focus on the flaming star. Yeah, this fancy Crayford focuser is not impressing, really. Um, it slides out very easily, like the screw, we'll take a look inside. It's got a little nylon tip on it. And it seems to be too low friction to actually hold it properly, even if you try to crank it down. If you crank it down too hard, you, it's almost like you're pivoting the whole um, uh, mounting tube. So then you're really out of focus. Yeah, it, well, we get like uh, sensor tilt and everything. So you can't go too hard. So having that little low friction nylon tip, is, it doesn't feel like a good solution. Well, I taped it up for now. We'll see how it goes and see if it works. Um, yeah, so let's go back inside, look at some data, go. So, oh yay, back inside. Uh, Got to look at some data. Yeah. <clears throat> so, as I expected, the Andromeda galaxy didn't turn out too well. Um, it was, um, well, low in the sky, a bit of a noisy area. Yes, so, well, we can look at it anyway. Compare it to uh, two years ago, when I took it again with a slight different processing um, opacity stacking in GIMP. And if you think that um, uh, Photoshop is uh, not too user friendly. You should try GIMP. That is, it's free. It's good, and it's got. I think it has got pretty much the same uh, muscles as Photoshop does, but it is not user friendly, very much so. No. <clears throat> anyway, but then I started using PixInsight, and then you kind of change your whole view on, on user friendliness and, and and intuitiveness and all that, whatever you call it. Anyway, <clears throat> so. Let's just start by looking at the uh, Andromeda Galaxy from two years ago, yeah? Okay, so this is the Andromeda Galaxy from two years ago. Uh, yeah, opacity stacking in GIMP. Well, you, you know, I, I was very happy with it, you know, considering the processing technique and everything I had. I can't remember how many subs this was, but it wasn't too many since I did it in GIMP. Uh, yeah. yeah, so uh, it's not... Um, modified DSLR, same DSLR, I just didn't modify it. And then this is from now. There, well, <clears throat> you know, it's very noisy, super noisy image, but uh, you know, not, not not too bad. Need some more data on it, maybe a nicer um, area of the sky. So for autumn, winter, we'll go back to that. Yes, all right. So, um, flaming star nebula. Yes, well, that was uh, <coughs> the uh, Crayford focuser on my um, Equinox. It just couldn't handle the weight of the camera and the off-axis guider. So I had it, I focused it in, and but then I couldn't focus it properly at the target, so I had to slew away a little bit, then slew back, and maybe during that process it got <whistles> slightly off center, off uh, focus. So it is just so much of focus that you can't just bear watching it. It's, <clears throat> it's that you can't really see it on the back of the screen when you look at it, but when you get it up on, on, a, on a big screen, then it's just obvious. So anyway, we're not gonna look at that. Uh, what we are going to look at is the uh, uh, heart nebula that I took after that. I did get the focus in then and taped it up. So boom, all right, that is the heart nebula. Big heart, yeah. 
This is like the the fish head, babble fish or whatever you want to call that part. It's called. Yes. So you have um, very uh, massive stars in this region and in this region. Um, can take a look at that later. Anyway, yeah. So that's the and I've been practicing my uh, processing techniques here for getting. You have this big carpet of stars just over it. And it's a star dense region, but you know, <clears throat> sometimes you just want to get some of that nebulosity out. So, I've been practicing a little bit, you know, got a way to go still. There. Now, just looking at the picture straight off, it still looks like there's a lot of stars in there. Let's compare them. Yeah. With my heart and high control. Well, look at that. Look at all those stars. You just almost disappeared. That region is also really, really, you know, dark in comparison. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm quite happy with that processing. Um, still need to practice it, but, you know, you see, start seeing a lot of nebulosity in here that was a little bit shaded by the, uh, by the stars before. Yeah, I also want to take a look at what I did last time then. Uh, so <clears throat> that is the Sol Nebula that I had. Same here. We got shit loads of stars. Excuse my language. But then I processed it a little bit, and look at that. Maybe almost a little bit too aggressive, but there yeah, you see. See the Nebula still there. More hair up by the head. Behind the head, up here. Don't know what this is. Like a big fart or something. Anyway, yeah. So kind of like it. Um, we'll keep practicing that. Um, and what I've done as well. It's a little mosaic. Yes. Well, you need to know that your heart and soul is in the right place. Yeah. Yes. So I did try a little mosaic. You can see this part of the um, soul here. And then we can see uh, this part of the heart. That's actually where they mate up. These three stars right here is actually these stars. Yes, 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 yes. So, see and behold. Yes, that is actually how they are positioned in the sky. Yeah, if you had like a 200 some millimeter focal length um, scope or camera objective, you could actually get it framed in almost like this. Yeah, but filled out the blanks here with stars and sky and all that. Yeah. Yes. So maybe at some time we'll fill this up a little bit more. But for now, I mean, it says shows what you want. It shows where this is and this is in relation to each other. Space. Spatially, yeah. So, yeah, happy about that. That's it. That's it for me. Next up, I uh, hear that everyone is doing the uh, jellyfish nebula. Uh, might go and take a look at that. <coughs> Maybe see what they know that I don't. What's up there? So, um, that's going to be for the first part of the evening. Then we'll do something else for the second half. I don't know yet what we're going to do there. It'll be a little surprise, yeah. Yes, so that's it. Rock on, toodaloo.